My name is Jim Morley. I'm an assistant professor in the biology department at East Carolina University, and I lead a marine fisheries ecology lab. Our group is interested in how humans influence marine species and on the marine and estuarine habitats that those species depend on. More specifically, we're interested and we do research on climate change impacts on marine species and how commercial and recreational fisheries and also the mariculture industry impacts uh, marine habitats and communities of marine organisms. These two impacts interact with each other, but they also interact with um, species life history and habitat requirements across life history stages. And we're interested in the interplay of these um, different uh, factors. We use a variety of approaches in our lab, and these range from intensive field work to more statistical modeling. We use traditional net and trap sampling. Um, we often use these me methods to get tissues from fish, such as otoliths, to age fish and determine hatch dates. We also use high-tech approaches, including acoustic imaging sonar, acoustic tagging telemetry, and then using statistical modeling to um, quantify species distribution, abundance, and habitat use. Here's an example of our acoustic imaging sonar. You're looking at a school of striped bass that are feeding on a school of anchovy. This technology is useful. It allows us to examine fish behavior in their natural environment and to measure abundance in a non-lethal way. And we can also get measurements of individual fish using uh, this acoustic imaging sonar. A recent example of our work with acoustic telemetry involved tagging um, juvenile sheep's head and measuring their use of natural marsh um, habitat versus a man-made oyster farm. In this example, you're looking at 16 different individual um, sheep's head fish that were all telemetry tagged. This is um, fast forwarding through a 17 hour period. And we can use this approach to examine differences among individual fish and how they use this um, modified estuarine landscape. And we can also learn a lot about the daily movement patterns of this species and the size of the home range for um, members of this species. For our, our larger scale modeling work of species habitat use and distribution, we, we often use existing data, long-term survey data of the oceans, which show where a species occurs and what types of environment it prefers. And that's um, demonstrated here on the left side, showing occurrence data, data for summer flounder. And then we make models of species distribution and habitat, and we apply those models to different climate change scenarios to see how a species might respond in the future to climate change. Overall, the goal of most of our work is to help ecosystem-based management efforts in North Carolina and in the United States in general, and also to learn more about how marine ecosystem works in the life history of marine species. Our lab is located on the ECU Outer Banks campus at the Coastal Studies Institute. Thanks.